In this lecture, you'll learn about NVMe over fabrics in ONTAP. Compared to the other storage protocols, NVMe is very new. So there's a good chance that you don't have good knowledge of NVMe. If that's the case, please check out the lecture on it in my Intro to SAN and NAS course. Once you've done that, we can get into the rest of this lecture. First, let's talk about the difference between NVMe OF and end-to-end -end NVMe. So you can see in the first diagram on the slide here on the left, this is NVMe OF, NVMe over fabrics. So we've got the host and then a network infrastructure connecting that to the storage. And here we're using NVMe over fabrics as the protocol between the host and the storage system over the network. And then once the traffic hits the storage system, getting from the storage system to the disks is using traditional SAS here. So you can do that in ONTAP since version 9.4. You don't need any kind of specialist hardware for your ONTAP system, it just needs to be an AFF system running ONTAP 9.4 or later. The other thing we can do in ONTAP is end-to-end -end NVMe. With end-to-end -end NVMe, again, we're using NVMe over fabrics, over the network from the host to the storage system, but in this case, the disk subsystem is also using NVMe. So rather than a SAS connection from the controller to the disks, we've got an NVMe connection there, and that gives you the best performance with end-to-end -end NVMe. Now, end-to-end -end NVMe is supported in ONTAP as well, but you need to have a controller platform which does support NVMe disks. Right now, as I'm recording this, that's just the AFF A800, but in the future, I expect that ONTAP will be rolling that out across the rest of the platforms. Okay, so NVMe OF, the, that's the transport between the host and the storage system. And there's different options that you can use for the network infrastructure for this. You can use NVMe over fiber channel. You can use also NVMe transport over RDMA, which is remote direct memory access. The first RDMA option is NVMe over InfiniBand. And then there's also RDMA over Ethernet transports. That is iWarp and Rocky version 1 and version 2. The difference, the main difference between Rocky version 1 and version 2 is that in Rocky version 1, the host and the storage system need to be on the same IP subnet as each other. With version 2, they can be in different IP subnets because Rocky version 2 is routable, unlike version 1. So those are all of the different transports that are available in theory across the industry as a whole, but they're not all supported in ONTAP. So let's look at what is supported in ONTAP, and that is NVMe over fiber channel. The big benefit of NVMe over fiber channel and the reason that this is the first transport that ONTAP is supporting is that it can be used over a standard fiber channel infrastructure, which if you're an ONTAP customer looking to move towards NVMe, there's a good chance that you already do have an existing fiber channel infrastructure in place. And when you use NVMe over fiber channel, you can use the existing HBAs, switches, zones, targets, and cabling. So if you've already got an existing fiber channel infrastructure, you can use that for NVMe over fiber channel without having to buy any additional hardware. And the other transport options, that is not the case. You do need specialist hardware for those. So because NVMe over FC can use that existing fiber channel infrastructure, that makes it the transport most likely to enable the easiest transition and the least expensive transition for companies. So that's why ONTAP went with it. And you can see here why you can use your existing fiber channel infrastructure because the actual fiber channel frame is very, very similar between traditional fiber channel and NVMe over fiber channel. So you can see with both of them, we've got the FG header, the frame and the data. The difference is that traditional fiber channel is using the old SCSI 3 command set with NVMe over FC, it's using the NVMe commands. So you might look at this and think, well, what's the big deal? Is that gonna make much difference? 
Well, yes, it will, because the SCSI command set has been around for decades. It's very old, and it was designed for the technologies that were available back in the day. NVMe has been designed to work with the modern high-speed technologies and SSD disks. It's much more efficient and high performance, so you will see performance improvements by using NVMe over FC over traditional fiber channel or the other storage protocols. So as I said, NVMe over FC is the first transport supported in ONTAP, and that has been available since ONTAP 9.4 on AFF systems. But there was a pretty big drawback with this in ONTAP 9.4, and that was that high availability support was not supported. So you had no redundancy there. But that limitation was overcome in ONTAP version 9.5, which makes it a much more feasible option to use. However, there's still not huge uptake of this because there's currently limited support in the client operating systems. And obviously, if the client operating system doesn't support it, then you're not going to be able to use it. But just like I said, that I'm expecting NVMe to have wider support across the ONTAP platforms in future. Also, the different client operating systems, you should see much more widespread support in them as well as time goes on. Some details about how NVMe over FC works in ONTAP. NVMe over FC and traditional FCP fiber channel use separate lifts, but the lifts can be homed on the same physical part. So again, this is another thing that makes the transition a lot easier. If you are using fiber channel currently and you want to migrate using NVMe over FC, you can use your existing fiber channel infrastructure and you can also use the same ports concurrently as well. So you can still be using fiber channel in the same physical ports and then enable them for NVMe over FC. So it makes it very easy to do the transition. Only one lift per SVM is supported in ONTAP 9.4. Again, ONTAP 9.4 did not support redundancy. In ONTAP 9.5, you must configure at least one NVMe lift for each node in an HA pair that uses NVMe, and you can create up to two NVMe lifts per node if you needed that extra bandwidth. So redundancy is supported in ONTAP 9.5. Thanks for watching. If you want to get hands-on practice with NetApp storage for free on your laptop, then you can download my free ebook, which you can see above my head right now. Also check out my NetApp storage complete course, which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. Thanks.